Bemid Bar Numbers 32. Now, the children of Reuven and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw at the land of Ya'arazir and at the land of Gilad, that, behold, the place was a place for cattle. The children of Gad and the children of Reuven came and spoke unto Moshe and to Eleazar the priest, and unto the princes of the assembly, saying, Ataroth and Divan and Ya'arazir and Nimra and Cheshban and el Ale and Savam and Nevu and Beon, even the country which Yahuwah smote before the assembly of Yashara'el is a land for cattle, and your servants have cattle. Wherefore, said they, if we have found grace in your sight, let at this land be given unto your servants for a possession, and bring us not over at the Yardan. And Moshe said unto the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuven, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And wherefore discourage ye at the heart of the children of Yashadael from going over into the land which Yahuwah has given them? Thus did your fathers, when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea, to see at the land. For when they went up unto the valley of Eshkol, and saw at the land, they discouraged at the heart of the children of Yashadael, that they should not go in to the land which Yahuwah had given them. And Yahuwah's anger was kindled with the same time, rather, was kindled the same time. And he swore, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Mitzrayim from twenty years old and upward shall see at the land which I swore unto Avraham, unto Yitzhak, and unto Yaakov, because they have not wholly followed me. Save Kalev, the son of Yephanah, the Kenizi, the, rather, and Yahusha, the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed Yahuwah. And Yahuwah's anger was kindled against Yashara'el, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of Yahuwah was consumed. And behold, ye are risen up in your father's stead, an increase of sinful men, to augment yet the fierce anger of Yahuwah toward El Yashara'el. For if ye turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all this people. And they came near unto him and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle, and cities for our little ones. But we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Yashara'el, until we have brought them unto their place. And... Our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return unto our houses until the children of Yashara'el have inherited every man his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on yonder side of the Yardan or forward. Beside our inheritance is fallen to us on this side of the Yardan eastward. And Moshe said unto them, If ye will do at this thing, if ye will go armed before Yahuwah to war, and will go, all of you armed over at the Yardan before Yahuwah, until he has driven out at his enemies from before him, and the land be subdued before Yahuwah, then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless before Yahuwah, and before Yashara'el, and this land shall be your possession before Yahuwah. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against Yahuwah, and be sure your sin will find you out. 
Build you cities for your little ones and folds for your sheep and do that which has proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuven spoke unto Moshe, saying, Your servants will do as my Lord commands. Our little ones, our women, our flocks, and all our cattle shall be there in the cities of Gilad. But your servants will pass over every man armed for war before Yahuwah to battle, as my Lord says. So concerning them, Moshe commanded at Eleazar the priest and at Yahushua, rather, Yahusha, rather, Yahusha, the son of Nun, and at the chief fathers of the tribes of the children of Yasharael. And Moshe said unto them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuven will pass with you over at of the Yardan, every man armed to battle before Yahuwah, and the land shall be subdued before you, then ye shall give them at the land of Gilad for a possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuven answered, saying, At as Yahuwah has said unto your servants, so will we do. We will pass over armed before Yahuwah into the land of Canaan, that the possession of our inheritance on this side of the Yardan may be ours. And Moshe gave unto them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuven, and unto half the tribe of Manasseh, the sons of Yosef, at the kingdom of Saiton, the rather, Saikon, king of the Amorim, and at the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the land, with the cities thereof in the coasts, even the cities of the country round about. And the children of Gad built at Divan, and at Atarath, and at Eror, and at Etroth, Shofan, and at Yerezir, and Yagbaha, and at Beit Nimra, and at Beit Haran, fenced cities, and folds for sheep. And the children of Reuven built at Chesban, and at El Ahla, and at Kirathaim, and at Neuvu, and at Baal Meon, their names being changed, and at Savam, and gave at other names unto the cities which they built. And the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilad, and took it, and dispossessed at the Emori which was in it. And Moshe gave Gilad unto Mekir, the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Yair, the son of Manasseh, went and took at the small towns thereof, and called them Chavath Yair. And Novak went and took at Kenath, and at the villages thereof, and called it Novak, after his own name.